Hello everyone, Time Rover here, and welcome as we start a new Let's Play series for Stellaris. We've been playing um, Distant Worlds 2 recently, and uh, I've decided it's gotten me sort of in the mood to play Stellaris. It's been a while since we uh, we, since we loaded up the, uh, the old Stellaris game here, and there has been uh, a few DLCs, I believe, um, come through, and we are going to be running... With the mo pretty much all the DR D DRC DLCs um, that the game has released thus far, you can see them all over here. Uh, I'm very curious to give the Aquatic series uh, a pass. Um, I played a little bit with the Aquatic changes on my own just to get a feel for it, and I'm liking what I've seen. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I've created a pre. I've pre-created a our race here, our empire, the Numerian Kingdom. We'll take a look at uh, at this kingdom here as we go. Now let's go with an edit here. We're not going to actually make any changes. We're just going to go down through, show off some of the the new things that uh, came with this. In case you haven't seen them, even though it's been out for a while now, um, we are going to go with these like Zoron. I think that's what it is. is it Zoron. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I played. Um, uh, since I played Ocarina of Time, but the uh, the aquatic people from uh, Legend of Zelda, I think it's Zoron. Um, they, these guys, they kind of look like that, so that's why I'm going to go uh, go with them. Plus, they're kind. Everyone else kind of looks a little mm, wonky. Um, these guys look pretty cool, though. Yeah, they look kind of like kind of similar to the aliens from Independence Day. These guys just look. A little worse for wear but now we're gonna play as the azorons here um which actually now that i think about it, maybe we could have done sort of a, a kingdom based around um the zoron empire from legend of zelda but oh well well we're, we're not gonna do that just we're not gonna do that now um we're gonna go with this uh the aquatic we're gonna go next here Numerians, Numerians, Numerians. I don't have any biography written up. I'm not going to go through all of those shenanigans. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of awful at that. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know me, I'm kind of awful with the whole uh, storytelling through Stellaris, but uh, pre-built uh, entities, and I usually don't sort of do that kind of stuff uh but yeah we're gonna go with the humanoid too that's fine as traits we are gonna be aquatic um which is a new trait with that dlc and we have ocean habitability plus 20 percent housing usage on ocean worlds and flooded habitats minus 10 percent food energy and mineral output on ocean worlds plus 10 percent Housing usage on non-wet and non-wet worlds or habitability is lower. So we're definitely going to want to stick with um, the ocean worlds and uh, flooded habitats. But I think that'll be interesting to go with. We are intelligent. One trait that I generally like to take in my playthroughs. Charismatic. Just be, whoops. Uh, come on. Where are you at, charismatic? There we go. Um... Just because I like the amenities, so we'll see how that goes. Non-adaptive, because, you know, we're more or less going to be sticking to our uh, ocean world anyway. So, we'll go with that. So, that's going to lose us. I mean, we gain plus 20 off of the default. So, we're down to sort of plus 10. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Plus, it gives us some, you know, points. And then, slow learner. So, our leaders aren't going to be stupendous. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so we're gonna go next here. Just did a sort of a randomized thing, Solarium Cove, and our star is gonna be Haven Star. We're gonna do the Ocean Paradise, so we'll get there in a second. Aquatic Cities Origin. So we're choosing the new Ocean Paradise Paradise Origin from the DLC. Uh, homeland is an ocean world, size 30, so massive ocean world to start with, with rich food deposits and bonuses to happiness, pop growth, and output. And guaranteed habitable planets are instead frozen worlds, which we are going to be taking a hit to. So, yeah, though we might dis disallow um, the frozen world, or sorry, habitable, habitable, habitable planets. So we'll see. But yeah, we're going to go with that. See how that goes. 
Um, in terms of ethics, I kind of want to do... We're going to do Xenophiles, so we're going to be fairly uh, nice to the community. Galactic community. Um, fanatic materialist, just because I kind of want to get robots going on. Since we are not going to be able to uh, easily or comfortably live on other planets. So if we're going to be, you know, uh, colonizing other planets, we're going to want those... Uh, we're gonna want the the robots. Uh, Imperial, just because it kind of feels right with this group, um, that we have a designated ruler and then an heir situation, a monarchy, and then the anglers is another thing that came with the uh, the DLC, and I just I think it's uh, works out pretty well. So on Ocean Worlds, agricultural districts are uncapped, which is kind of nice actually. On Wet Worlds, farmers are replaced by anglers. And pearl divers. Anglers produce food and trade value, and pearl diver pearl divers produce um, consumer goods and trade value. So very nice. So we're gonna go with that. And then philosopher kings. Your rulers and governors are less likely to gain negative traits. I don't know. Just think I, I like the sound of that. So we're gonna go with this. Um, and yeah, everything else is more or less the same. So we're going to go with uh, the Numerian Kingdom. So let's go ahead and select them. Um, we are going to do, I think, a huge star system and see how that goes. Uh, elliptical is fine. Do, 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 do. I want to reduce, kind of don't want Marauders. Let's bump up the AI Empires a little bit. Drop down the advanced, actually, we're going to turn off advanced AI starts. And just bump up the AI empires here. Fallen empires, let me bring those down too and do something like that. I'd rather have more AI empires than fallen empires. And I'm not big on the marauders, so we're going to turn those those uh, groups off. And the advanced AI starts, we're going to turn off as well. Habitable worlds, um, yeah, we'll leave it on the uh, default there. Primitive civilizations, I think everything else we're going to keep default. Difficulty, I can do Grand Admiral. And with the scaling difficulty like we normally have done. Um, Empire Placement, Advanced Neighbors. Yeah, Caravaneers, Caravaneers we're turning off. Xeno Compatibility, we're gonna keep on. Iron Man Mode, yeah, we're gonna keep this off just because just in case something wonky goes wrong with the recording, which has happened, um, I want to be able to re-record if needed. So we're not going to do uh, Iron Man mode. Um, yeah, Guaranteed Habitable Worlds is off. So yeah, I don't know if that's going to affect our negative Frozen World thing. But I mean, we could put it on, but I like to limit that stuff and see what happens. But yeah, I think that's good. So we're going to have a lot of AI empires. The Fallen Empires are still going to be a thing. They're just not going to be as many. And uh, yeah, huge star. So let's go, if enabled, a random amount of... Yeah, we're going to just do that. And we'll see uh, what happens. Do, 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 do. All right, the Numerian Kingdom. Much has happened since modern humans first emerged in Africa some 200,000 years ago. Humans first emerged in Africa? Our kind spread rapidly across most of the globe, and soon the first civilizations took form. Scientific progress has been swift, though not without cost. Wars claimed millions of lives even before the atom was turned, and the turmoil of the 21st century saw the mandate of the United Nations gradually expand in an effort to create stability. By the end of the 22nd century, the supernatural... <laughs> supranational organization had become a de facto world government. Though some still resent the power wielded by the UN as evidenced during the can deny the technological breakthroughs mankind is about to That's weird. It's like we're we're playing on Earth. <laughs> okay. Um we're not. This is not soul. I hope that is correct no it's not 
Haven Star, where are we located in the galaxy? Ooh, off to the far reaches. Which has its pluses and negatives. Let's see. Whoa, let's take a look at our planet here. Uh, so yeah, we have a huge size 30 planet. Very nice. Which we're going to need because we're probably not going to settle anywhere anytime soon. Um, until we have maybe the tech to do... Uh, what are they called? Habitats. Or we get a migration treaty. Or we get robots. So we'll see how that, how that pans out for us. Uh, Alright, let's get a couple things out of the way. Let's start by building our mining station. And we'll wait on the research station there. Got one science ship who has anomaly discovery chance. Very nice. So this back here looks to me like it's going to be a, um, a dead end. This might also be... I don't know. We're, we'll head over here first. Survey that system. Uh, we are going to want a new science ship. Let's queue that up. Now, things have changed since uh, our, my last playthrough of, um, of Stellaris, where things have been reworked. Uh, if we go to... I guess we can talk... Now, well, if we go to leaders and we go to recruit a scientist. So, this used to... So leaders used to cost energy. Now, they cost um, unity, apparently. So, unity has been reworked pretty uh, aggressively. Ooh. We don't have enough unity. I want to. I want to get this uh, spark of genius. Hopefully, they're still there when we go to to do it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's little you know interesting new ways of uh, generating unity. But in you know more or less, unity is now currency beyond just your traditions. Um, and consequently, in edicts, you can spend unity to do some stuff with that. And you have an edict fund here that doesn't tie into our actual unity generation. And as long as we're below that, we don't eat up some, some unity that uh, we use to generate for uh, traditions. But we can always go over that and start eating into our actual ge unity generation. But we're going to want to avoid that, at, if at all possible. So, research. Um... Let's get the quantum theory since it's up. More food. Yeah, we'll get the, the level one of uh, society research boost as well. Well, I mean, might as well just go for the trifecta. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And uh, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and unpause. Let's uh, bring up the speed a wee bit. The new air. Ah, right. Oh, right. Let's take a look at our our leader here. Uh, fertility preacher industrialist. Nice. Can we get information on our air? Champion of the people. Another fertility preacher. Lovely. I will take it. Uh, we still don't have enough to hire a scientist. Grow ever stronger. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to wait on that. Let's get that uh, engineering research. What have we here? Okay, we do have enough now to recruit. Ooh. Uh, yes, I want... What? Okay, never mind. We're going to have to wait one more month. There we go. Recruit that scientist. Spark of genius. All right, had to decided to turn down the volume a little bit because it seemed a little loud. Uh, let's see. Technology. Um, you're researching good. You are maniacal. Hello, you're gonna get the spark of genius, and then this science ship is gonna get uh, this guy. Um, let's have, I think I'm going to want, let's just head out here. I want to see if this is, this area over here is a we dead end as well. We are going to move our constructor 
construction what ship over here. here. Leave be for now. Mm. Okay, I want to get some more science ships as well. A system so. has been charted. Let's get one more. VP for now, please. Church of Light. Struck that star base. Centuries ago, a group of radical priests and their devoted followers on Solarium Cove broke away uh, from the established religions to form their own church. These extremists called themselves the Church of Light and have been responsible for many atrocities and acts over the, of terror over the years. Although they have kept a low profile in modern times, we recently learned that many of their agents have infiltrated our military. These renegades have secretly been diverting resources to the construction of a small fleet of starships at a hidden facility in Solarium Cove. When their treachery was revealed, the cultists blasted into orbit from their ships and fled. Situations um, hijacked fleet. Corvette, Corvette. Um, I don't know. I mean, give me, uh, give me another one here. Can't, we can't reinforce. Recruit. Archaeological. I mean, this might come into play. Oh, right. And this cost does go up. I'm going to recruit you and then let's send you over here. I'm going to just have you explore over here and see if uh, we can do anything. If this is another dead end. Uh, you are going to survey out this way. Alright, do we have enough yet to reinforce? No. Right, let's reinforce that and then go take those guys out. Um... Yeah, okay, so that's not quite a dead end. I want to explore this area just to see what we're dealing with behind our base. Yeah. Alright. Fair enough. Survey that. Taking evasive action. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. Go kill these guys, please. Cultist ship disabled. There is new information in the situation log. Uh, okay, we did not lose any units. That's good. Uh, you, can you research this? Yeah, go ahead and do that, please. All right, our first tradition. So this has changed as well since our last playthrough on the channel. Um, adaptability, discovery. I think we're going to go discovery just because I want the anomaly research speed. And uh, da, 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 da. it's not as great as it used to be, but it will help us research things quicker. And it will unlock the map, the Stars Edict, which will allow us to generate more um, uh, anomaly chance, anomaly discovery chance. So we're going to go ahead and initiate that because that we're still under our cap. Our fleet has been repaired. Um, I guess we'll head this way. Although this way is a little bit better. Now we'll we'll start moving that route. Uh, you're not. Build mining stations. As clearly. We're not quite there yet. Okay, uh, we've got some jobs needed over here. Uh, we need some amenities. Got some housing. 
you know, I think we're going to go ahead and do some hollow theaters just to resolve the amenity situation. We're going to need amenities soon. So this way we should be okay. Um, is this a, what is this? Okay, you're just uh, looking at researching this Corvette. Okay. Are you not? Huh. What's going on here? Why is this thing not? Oh, unless we need in orbit. Do, can I? No. Can't do that. Is there a special project? Let's see. Church of Light. Board cult. Ah, oh, we need a military ship. Probably need troops. Yeah, all right, let's stop that. Let's see, I don't think we have any troops yet. Uh, Starbase, we're in our home planet, armies. All right. Give me one army, please, so that we can board this ship. All right. You're done from here, survey. This, I think, is a dead end. So let's head out this way. We grow ever stronger. Uh, build a star base. That actually is a decent system now. Anomalous space time continuum ahead. All right, can we do anything? One military ship in orbit. Not sure. Are we not going to be able to do this? Uh, is this something buggy here? Retreat. Okay. Disable requires repairs. So are we just going to have a thing in our a random disabled ship in our uh, our home system forever and ever? Technology secured. Hmm. Something's a bit off there. All right, abandoned amusement park. What have we here? Uh, research speed. Good. Leave be for now. Construction ship. Uh, remarkable. Let's go ahead and build. Come on. Build mining station, please. Uh, policy. We shall be Zeno with open arms. Policy on first is set to proactive. Yes, because we are going to be friends with the universe. Um, for our first tradition, research alternatives versus survey speed. Let's get that. That's going to help quicken our survey. Um, let's head out this way. Technology secured. Our lookouts have detected an anomaly. Uh, yes, let's get the administrative AI, as that's going to be a flat 5% increase. Uh, get the pop growth speed. That's going to be good. Rock brain. A scan of particularly massive asteroid yields fascinating results. The rock's core is shot through the network of conductive crystals carrying a weak electric charge. The crew on the UNS... Uh, Jal Tesk recognize this matrix permanently. Make it so. They seek permission to excavate the core and transport it to the nearest orbital station. Ooh. Well, that's got to be close to our main system. Yeah, let's get the... Um, I'd rather have the, the 
bonus research because I think we're going to be moving out this way. Space charts updated. All right, let's go survey. Head out that way. Anomalous space time Anomaly, leave be for now. Magmatic space fares. We have made first contact. All right, go ahead and throw in one of our envoys. Uh, data bank, research subsidies, research station output, research from starbase constructions versus alternatives. Let's get this, um, because I, we don't have very many research stations, so the it's not really going to help too much right now. Commendable uh, effort, sure. Log. Survey. Down here to there. All right, I do. Let's just explore up here because I want to see what this is. Stronger. If this is connected. Space um, everything's looking okay here with our resources. Let's get another industrial district to improve our alloy production. Keep going, construction ship. I will start moving out this way, because if this is another empire, if we could snag this system, it is, well, I guess this is the bottleneck here, since there is a connection over here. But we'll want to get this system to just sort of block off our territory. Okay, this is a dead end over here, so there's no rush surveying over there. We'll head this way, in this direction. Grow ever stronger. Um, and I will bring in another science ship. And we'll head uh, potentially down here. Or maybe send it up this way. Uh, leave B for now. Recruit. Just take the younger. Younger person. Um, artisan troop. Ooh, an artisan troop. Nice. Interesting. A system has been charted. Okay. Construction ship. Go ahead and get that mining station up and running. And give me another construction ship, please. All right. With that, I'm going to actually send you up this way. Stronger. AP for now. New construction ship. Space charts updated. Have you move in this direction. You're finished. Go ahead and build a post over here. I don't want to get the artisan troop in our grip here. What's this? Tropical world? Not as a uh, fitting, but something. Uh, survey. Um, yeah, I'm fine with sort of making this be our beeline up this way. We'll just see what's in this general area. We grow ever stronger. Well, that. Probably snagged this system as well. I'll take one of these science ships um, off in this direction. And the other science ship can go off in this direction. This might be a dead end over here. Ah, nope. It's branching off. Ba, ba, ba. You. Leader cap, level one. Let's get that. Leader level gain. I'll counteract our one policy. Our one negative trade, I should say. 
Um, this is a dead end, so let's continue on over this way. Um, we had an encounter. Okay, over here. System has been charted. Go ahead and assign an envoy. Here. Intellectual booty. So Starbase. Uh, new research. Got some factions. Blue lasers. Let's get the blue lasers going on. Um, so there's our beginning of our um, empire, or sorry, our robot tech. So let's go ahead and get that because I'd like to get robots up and running fairly soon. Resources are looking fine. Lowest is food. Ba, 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 ba. We just want another research lab at this point. You know what? Another research lab I think is going to be just fine. I right, still don't know who that was. Intellectual booty. Leave be for now. Build that. We want to commission a piece. Tell us more. We wish to become your patron. Yes, more unity for some energy. Thank you very much. All right. You can go out here. What have we here? A system has been charted. Research, gene clinics, food. Now let's get the gene clinic. I think that will be a good thing to have. Uh, fascinating. So this is an actual empire. Up in this area. Space charts updated. Hmm. This is probably in their territory. Is my guess. So we're going to want to pull out. Probably go in, in this direction. But we did snag this system. Which is a. Uh, a bottleneck. Uh, research output. Research upkeep. All right, let's go ahead and get that. That's going to be all right. Over here, can we go? And keep moving out in this direction because I have a feeling that we can't. This this area is taken. Anomalous space time continuum ahead. Research. A system has been charted. With that in mind, I'm going to actually have you come back over here. Um, yeah, just keep going straight. We grow ever stronger. Abandoned gateway, where is that at? Ooh, over here. All right. They're receptive. We grow ever stronger. Clowns. Space charts uh, anomaly, leave B for now. You're down here. Go ahead and build a mining station. Build research stations. You are done. Your research. Head up in here and then over there. Space charts Let's get another science ship. Construction ship. Go ahead and build that. Turn about. We cannot fight this foe. What have we here? Oh. Leave be for now. Is that a research complete? There's an ocean world there. We grow ever stronger. Alright, survey this and go over there. We grow ever stronger. Engineering research is done. Robot workers, Space yes, sir, please. Um, we would like to donate for some influence? Yes, please. 
All right, our capital is in need of some jobs. Right, let's get another round of industrial complexes. We will find future content projects easier. Okay. So, hey, they're xenophiles. They're militarists. But hopefully we don't come to blows too much. Um, yeah, we wish uh, nothing but the best. All right, where are you located? They wish to speak with us. You want an embassy? Yes, please. Okay, so they did come down here. Tell me what. Let's move here. I'm going to try to snag these systems. What, is it a mega structures in here? Ruined mega structure. Bomb station. Interesting. You want a research agreement? Sure. Because if we look at our, our group here, AI Loud, our factions. Um, okay, well, we don't have any requirements for research agreements. But, you know, that is okay. All right, well, I think we've gone long enough in this episode. Um, I'm not sure, like, our expansion is not done over here. We're still able to go up this way, and there is a gateway somewhere. Or no, there's this, we're going to definitely sort of wiggle our way up in this general area. Um, and there is an ocean world. That's an Arctic world. We're going to want to try to maybe start weaving our way up here. And we haven't met anything behind us yet, so I'm wondering if we'll be able to, to get in there. This is really annoying. I don't know what the issue is. I wonder if I can put in a general or an admiral, and maybe that's what will resolve that? I don't know. Because, yeah, you're not really doing anything. I might just disband this. I don't know. Uh, I'll look at it in between episodes and see if this is bugged or if I'm just missing something. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy this series. If you do, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more content, as always, I strongly encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.